All right, uh, hi guys. Um, my name is Felix Hammel. I'm here. Um, I represent uh, Whiteout Networks. Um, Whiteout Networks is a Munich-based startup, and we are developing a. Um, right now, we're developing a, a mail application that has um, integrated PGP support and handles all the rough edges um, around encryption and handling PGP. And we're trying to make it easy for the average user um, to use encryption because that is what ultimately lacks. And so, yeah. So why am I here? If we're doing email, wouldn't this be better at some email meetup? I don't know. Um, well, the whole thing is the whole thing is based in uh, uh, the whole thing is based on uh, HTML5. So we are doing. IMAP, SMTP, mind parsing, crypto, and all that stuff, all natively in uh, JavaScript. And uh, we started out on uh, Node.js as a platform. So um, this talk is about uh, email.js, or uh, to be a bit more specific, the road to email.js. Um, so first of all, like when you do, um, when you have to do email on Node.js, what do you use? What comes to mind? What's probably the most famous email library on Node.js? Any clues? Node Nodemailer. Node so probably easy as that. So there is only one problem. So you can send emails with Nodemailer, but um, yeah. How do you receive emails? Any ideas? Didn't think so. Um, well, there is this library called Inbox and uh, May Parser. And well, we've used them for a while and they work really well. But uh, then we came to think, okay, so this is Node.js. Um, what if we want to use the browser? Because I mean, in the end, it is JavaScript. So browser? Well, basically, you have got two options. So the first option was, well, why don't we take Node.js and put it in the browser? Um, two alternatives there. First one is use Browserify. Don't get me wrong, Browserify is a wonderful build tool. Um, OpenPGP, for example, uses Browserify um, to create a UMD build of, um, of its submodules. But um, in the end, um, and there is a, a second option to use Browserify, which is Hey, uh, we have all those shims available for all the wonderful Node APIs, so Node Buffer and, and Node Crypto and whatnot. And uh, when you use that to compile an arbitrary um, Node.js library, it all it, it puts it all together and creates a giant blob of JavaScript code. That's in the end what it is. So we said, okay, we have this email library and um, per library, we have like this 1.5 megabytes of JavaScript, so that is not maintainable. And neither is it, uh, can, can we execute this in, in, any, med in any way in a, in a web worker. So that was off, off the table. Um, so option two, we created uh, the, these node shims. So this is a, a, um, a collection of um, of all the stuff that Browserify offers as replacement to the Node APIs, and we created, uh, we reported this whole thing to AMD, and uh, then we had to fork all the libraries we used with uh, IMAP and SMTP, which unsurprisingly is a whole lot. Um, so yeah, fork all those to AMD, um, and you lose all the advantages from upstream. Uh, so yeah, that was not really a good option. So, me. Option two. Well, why don't we just why why don't why don't we just embrace the browser and uh, rewrite everything? So, well, that sounded good in theory. Um, then, uh, well, I tried it out myself, and it proved to be really hard. Um, but then we had the wonderful opportunity about one month ago to hire Andres Reinman. And all the Node.js libraries I've, uh, I've told you about before, so Node Mailer, Inbox, Mail Parser, and everything there is, 
they, they all have one thing in common. It's their author, Andres Reinman. Um, so yeah, we, we had the, at Wider, we had the wonderful opportunity to, to hire him. And uh, there was one thing that he wanted to do for a while, which luckily coincided with, uh, with what we wanted to do, port this whole thing to the browser. And there are also some other guys. Um, if any one of you uh, had, has looked at the email JS uh, mailing list, there is this, uh, those two dudes from, uh, from Mozilla. The one is uh, Mr. Burke and the other is Mr. Sutherland. Um, and Andrew Sutherland is uh, pretty keen on uh, integrating um, a native browser API based version of something that can handle IMAP and SMTP and all things that come with it. So, yeah, what, what we wanted to do is, um, or what email.js ultimately should be, is a full-fledged um, collection of libraries to handle IMAP, to handle raw SMTP, to handle all the issues around MIME parsing. Should have a simple API, should have standardized data types, so move away from all this node streams and node buffers and node whatnot and just use strings, just use typed arrays and just use the stuff that everybody else uses. Um, so standard adherent. Um, it should be extensible in the way it has been built. It should be well tested. It should be under CI. In the, in the, in the talk before we heard CI was an issue that is, uh, should still be um, that sh should still be integrated. We wanted to do this from the start. Um, and last, oops, and last but not least, it should be platform agnostic. So, I've talked about the browser and rewriting everything for the browser. So, that why 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 am I talking here on the, in a, in a Node.js user group? Um, that's because um, we wrote this stuff in, just in case you want to do anything with email, you can do it in your CI. You can run it on Node. You can run it on a, on a Chrome packaged app, you can run it on a Firefox OS device. So pretty much everything you throw at it, it, it runs on it. So hello email.js. Uh, this um, library was created by Andres Reinman. I am one of the maintainers. And as I said before, it is based on three or four pillars, depending on how you look at it. Um, first one is uh, IMAP handling. This is done by this wonderful library called BrowserBox. Second one, uh, second pillar is SMTP handling. It is done by, SMTP, by the SMTP client. And then we have reading and writing MIME. And this is done by two libraries called MIME parse and, and mail build. So I don't really want to go into detail and bore you with APIs and all that stuff. And I'd rather show you how this stuff looks in, looks in real life. And, um, well, this is, let me fire that up. This is the uh, whiteout mail client. And, um, yeah, we use um, those libraries um, in production. And, uh, well, this is fresh from the master, so excuse me if anything goes wrong. So right now, if I write myself... This is for a test account, so this is not my real email address. So if I write myself an email, say, hi, hi, and look. So then this should, yeah, you sent an email, and by now we should receive it. And yes, there it is, and it is decrypting, and hi, and look. So this, what you've just seen, is an orchestration of IMAP handling, SMTP handling, MIME parsing, and PGP, and uh, TLS, all done natively in JavaScript. <laughs> and uh, all this, all, everything you've seen here is also running on, on Node.js. We have set up everything um, to run in a, in a CI on Travis on a Node.js 0.10 environment. And yeah, so the rewrite really paid off. So thanks for your attention. Uh, if you want to contact me, choose one of these options, whichever you're most comfortable with. 
Um, and uh, check in at emailjs.org, join the mailing list, uh, tweet about it, use it, send pull requests, do whatever you want with it. So thanks for your attention.